YouTube. So today is a very important topic. We are going to be talking about the six major movement patterns. And at the end of this video, I'm going to put on the screen um, all six movement patterns with exercises that you can incorporate into your training if you're missing any of these major movement patterns in your training. And, but first, I'm going to talk about why each one is important to everyday functionality. This is why it's important to have all six in every training program, whether you're trying to lose weight, whether you're trying to get jacked, whether you're trying to get huge, whatever your goal is, you need all six of these to function as a human being, especially if your goal is just simply to move better, to not have arthritis, to be strong, to be healthy. If that's just your simple goal, then this is perfect. And I'm sure we all have the goal of not wanting to end up in an elderly home, and all six of these will prevent that. So the six of them are push, pull, hip hinge, squat, lunge, and loaded carry. Those are the six major movement patterns. You need to do all six in your training program. They don't all have to be on the exact same day, but they should be spread out throughout your training program. And so you should be doing them um, on a weekly, bi-weekly basis, at least all six. Um, some of them are slightly more important than others, but you need all six. Now, here's why each one is important. Push, um, we're going to start with push and pull. Push is important because that's the human, um, the human's inherent way to generate force is to push. And so if you're not doing any push exercises, you're not learning how to generate a lot of force. And if you're not learning to generate a lot of force, your body's going to lose muscle tissue over time because you're not giving it a reason to hang on to upper body muscle tissue. Now, pull is arguably more important than push because it trains the proper uh, posterior muscles for you to pull things, for you to have a good posture, good base. This is why push and pull are important. And if you want me to go into more detail about a specific movement pattern, just let me know in the comments and I'll make another video about that. But we're going to move on to squat. Super important to not, not want to end up in an elderly home because if you can't squat over time, your squat's going to get worse and worse and worse and you're going to end up in an elderly home because you can't get off the toilet. That's exactly what a squat is. A squat teaches you how to sit down properly without pain while being able to get up, um, hanging on to lower body muscle tissue. Super important for hip health and uh, knee health. Now, speaking of both of those, you need more specific for both of those. That's where the hip hinge comes in. The hip hinge is specifically for the hips. And so it's important because you need to be able to pick things up. Everybody picks things up. We're helping our friends move, um, construction workers. Everybody is constantly picking up groceries, whatever the case may be, feeding our dogs, feeding our cats. But a hip hinge teaches you how to bend at the hips without bending at your spine which is where most people get lower back pain, upper back pain, because when they, over time, they're picking things up and they're picking things up with their spine, not their hips. This one's very important. And lunge, you're gonna need to be able to learn the lunge because when you walk up and down stairs, you're essentially lunging just at a shorter range of motion. And also the lunge fixes and balances in each leg because it's not a, sing, it's not a, a two leg exercise, it's a single leg exercise. Also, last thing about the lunge, it bends at the knee more than a squat. It focuses on you bending at the knees more, and so you need to be able to lunge without pain, and that's why all of these are important. Lastly, loaded carry is extremely important. Things like farmer's walk, um, overhead walks are important because we're always carrying things, and so if you don't know how to carry heavy things without um, good posture or you're getting pain, that's a problem. You need to be able to work your way up and train the loaded carry. And so that's why all six of these are super important for just everyday health, everyday function. This should be in every single training program and it also it will also fix imbalances, making sure you are balanced head to toe. And so here are the six on the screen again. Uh, hip hinge, lunge, squat, push, pull, and loaded carry on the screen with exercises. And so if you're missing any of these movement patterns, start adding in the exercise according to that movement pattern into your program. And so that's all for this video. I'm sorry it's a little long, but I hope you enjoy it. If you like this content, please subscribe for more and I will see you later. Peace.